Good morning, everyone. We're about to have our breakfast sandwiches and need a little bit more to go with breakfast. And so we thought it would be a perfect opportunity today to be able to compare these two blenders and make a couple smoothies. So I've got the Ninja Blast portable blender here from Ninja. And then I've got the New Wave portable blender here. It's a very sleek, beautiful looking blender. Let's try them both out and see uh, how they both make smoothies. All right, we grabbed these out of their boxes. As you can see, they're very similar uh, size blenders. They're portable. They are both uh, drink out of the top of the blender when you're done. So both really easy to use uh, setups. But the first one, or the Ninja blender here, is a little bit smaller. Uh, max fill line will probably be about 500 milliliters if you get to the very top. And this one, uh, the New Wave Blender, goes to about 700 milliliters. So you get about 200 milliliters of extra use. The Ninja claims to be uh, nice and quiet. I'm gonna start filling them both up, like so. It's about the same amount of yogurt each. We're gonna make two identical smoothies here. So we can test them both out in that same way. Although I'm not going to be exact. All right, we'll top these off with some blueberries, a couple handfuls each. The New Wave definitely has a wider mouth, so it's easier for me to drop things in it than the more compact mouth of the Ninja. But the Ninja does seem to be more oriented to drink out of, like a normal sized cup, so it would direct that. I'm gonna go ahead and throw the strawberries in with the top still on. Once they get blended in, it's no issue. We'll do three to four strawberries each. You can see we're definitely getting to the capacity of the Ninja. Whereas we got a little bit more capacity here on the new wave. And then I'm going to top this off with the most frozen pieces, which is our mango pieces. And this is following, as you can see on the Ninja box, it's recommending you start with the liquids and smaller things on the bottom, and then you blast through all the way to leafy greens and uh, your frozen ice at the very top. For us, these frozen mangoes act as our ice. We don't really feel the need to add more ice on top, typically. So this should be good. The new race is going to be a little bit more mango-y because the extra capacity here is going to be completely mango at the top. my hands a quick rinse and then we'll start them both up and let's see how they're going. So again, I'm going to screw this lid on for the Ninja. The lid just does screw into it so if you're really filling it to max capacity you're going to want to consider your lid's going to be going inside. I press the power button here and you can see it gives itself a second to load up when that light goes solid purple. I can go ahead and hit a start, and that's going to start a 30 second blend. I'm going to go ahead and put on the new wave lid. In the same way, with this one, you click here and it lets you know how much power it is. It's a little bit lower, so 33% power right now, but we can go ahead and double click to start. And it runs for 40 seconds. So you can see now the Ninja has finished. We've got a nice full blend. It did get that all the way up to the top, which is pretty impressive. I'm going to go ahead and show you here. It's a little bit runnier than I'd like, so I'm going to go ahead and figure out a way to thicken this up with some more yogurt. But as you can see, it's really blended down all the way to through. And we've got a nice perfect blend of all, everything in this. We'll let the new wave run itself out. 
as it has done. And go ahead and take the lid off and check it out. With this one being tinted, it is harder to see the results inside of it without taking the lid off. Uh, but I gotta say the design of the blender is beautiful. Love the contours here. It also makes it really easy to hold. And then looking in that wide mouth, you can see very similar distribution of uh, the liquid in here. Everything seems to be blended through. I'm not noticing any chunks immediately. I'll go ahead and grab a knife here. And we'll go ahead and probe around and look for anything. Nope. Looks like we've got pure. Looks good all the way through. And we'll do the same thing with the Ninja. And probe through with the knife. No chunks left in here. It's fully blended through. So with that, that shows you the comparison side by side with this uh, Ninja Blast Portable Blender and the New Wave Portable Blender. They both get the job done mixing up a wide variety of sizes of fruit, yogurt, etc. And they both are creating a nice, perfect blend. The New Wave has a bit more capacity. It's got a wider mouth, so it's easier to load. And it's got a tent and a cool design that has it looking cool. But with the blend, with the Ninja, the clear uh, surface allows you to see in easier. The cup's more like a typical cup that you're going to be drinking out of. And uh, it's a bit quieter to use. So check them out if you're uh, looking at either of these blenders. Now you can see how they both work side by side. Both wonderful options for your kitchen. They both have very similar features. They're gonna be great portable blenders. That'll be easy for you to incorporate smoothies into your daily routine.